What is going on everyone and welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. Today, we are talking about the micro e-mini NASDAQ 100 index futures and how we can trade them on the TradingView platform. We're going to walk you through step by step from exactly what you need to pull up on your charts on TradingView, how to connect, how to get set up with your broker, how to execute trades. And of course, we're also going to start by talking about what you're actually trading, how much money it's going to be per tick in terms of fluctuation in your position size or in your position. We're going to talk about the hours, margin maintenance, and the time frame of these contracts. So if that is something you're interested in, let's dive right on in. And first, we want to give a quick shout out to Jigsaw Trading for sponsoring today's video. Jigsaw Trading offers traders an edge in the markets through powerful and intuitive trading software. With advanced tools for order flow analysis, visualization, execution, and advanced analytics and trade journaling, Jigsaw Trading gives traders a real-time view of market activity and helps them make better informed trading decisions. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, Jigsaw Trading has something to offer from their starter package to their professional package. Plus, their team of expert traders is always available to provide guidance and support. Take your trading to the next level with Jigsaw Trading. 14 day money back guarantee. Try it today. Thanks for Jigsaw for sponsoring today's video. And let's dive in to some contract specs on the micro e mini NASDAQ 100. So it's essentially $2 times the NASDAQ 100 index. Okay. We want to also mention that each tick is 0.25 of a point of a dollar of a move. So each tick is 0.25 and that is worth 50 cents. So if you buy one contract, you're going to fluctuate 50 cents every tick, okay? Every tick or every 0.25 index points, your position, your P&L will fluctuate by 50 cents. And you might think, well, that seems pretty small. And yeah, it is. That's what's really cool about the micro E-minis. And so what's awesome is that if you're just starting in futures, you have the opportunity to trade these with a lot lower risk on one contract or as you grow and as you want to size up, it's really cool because you can simply just add two contracts, three, four, five, six, and increase the position size, practice scaling in, practice scaling out, practice different strategies that you want to practice. And essentially you can do so with a lot lower risk and a lot less dollar risk that you're putting out there. Okay. So you talk about the minimum tech value. Now the maintenance margin is 1,680 us dollars. The trading hours, Sunday, 6 PM to Friday, 5 PM Eastern time. Now there's a daily maintenance period from five to 6 PM Eastern time where you will not be able to trade. And the next day will then begin. Okay. After 6 PM Eastern time, the next day will then technically begin. So if you're in positions and you don't want to hold them or you don't want to, or you don't have a, a lot of money in your portfolio, or you're someone who's using a small account, your broker may actually liquidate you before that 5 PM window. Usually it's about 15 minutes before it depends on the broker, I believe, but they'll liquidate you five minutes or 15 minutes before. So just be careful and make sure you are aware that your daily trading hours, all they are longer than normal market hours, but there is a one hour break from five to 6 PM Eastern time every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well then Friday, technically they close uh, at 5 PM and that's it until Sunday night at six. Okay. So we covered that now. These contracts are also quarterly, okay? We've got March, June, September, December, and they're listed for five consecutive quarters. You will have to look up the ticker symbol MNQ, okay? That is what we're gonna be doing, right? We're gonna be pulling that up now. So we got a background. Now, what we're looking at here on TradingView is we are looking at the continuous contracts, but we can't trade these. We'll cover that here in just one second. Next thing what you want to do is you want to go down to the bottom of your screen. When I go to the bottom, there'll be an option called trading panel. I'm going to open the trading panel. I'm going to click maximize panel right here. And now I'm going to have a list of brokers. Here are like the top brokers. There's actually a much larger list. If you were to scroll through, uh, some of the more common brokers for trading futures on trading view, or just in general, these days seem to be trade of eight seems to be trade station and interactive brokers. You can also just connect uh, paper trading and just practice paper trading futures as well. So that's an option you have in front of you. So I'm going to connect my trade of eight account, which is what I use. And then I'm going to show you guys 
exactly what we can do next. Now, if you don't have an account with one of these brokers, you will need to do so in order to trade futures on TradingView. So what they're going to do is they're going to essentially log you into your brokerage and they're essentially connected very, very nicely. Many of them have very, very nice seamless connections. And whenever you make a trade on TradingView, it's going to send that information over to your broker and ideally execute that as fast as possible. I've had no problem with Tradeaway. I'm not a scalper, although some of my trades can be a couple minutes long. So I've had no problem with executions. Literally, it has been a breeze ever since using Tradeaway. So that's what I use. But of course, teach your own. So now that I'm connected, the bottom of my screen, as I kind of minimize that panel, it'll see, you'll see trade of eight, and then you'll see that little green dot mean that I am connected. Okay. So I am good to go on this. Now, what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go to the five minute chart. Okay. And let's say that I want to play, let's say a flag breakout or something along those lines. And I think that we're going to go higher here on these futures. Great. I want to do that. I want to go long. I obviously would be kind of speculating as to going long right now, but I maybe I want to go long here with the anticipation that we're going to break out. Now, here's the thing. I can't trade these contracts. I cannot trade these contracts. They don't have a date associated with them. Okay. If I were to go ahead on the right hand side, go over to this order panel, it's going to tell me non tradable symbol, non tradable symbol. I'm going to go over here, get out of this panel. I'm going to go back up to the top left. I'm going to go type in M N Q. Okay. Then I'm going to hit the drop down menu. There's an arrow drop down menu. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go find the June contracts. It's currently April. I'm going to go out to the June contracts. That's the next one that expires, at least the closest expiration to where I am at right now. I'm going to go to the June contracts now. Very similar chart, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's essentially the same thing, but now I've got these contracts that I want. So let's say I want to zoom in and let's say I want to go long here. This will be just an example for the video. Now you guys will see though, look on the right hand side. As I zoom into these price points, right, every tick, okay, every essentially 25 cents, uh, which would be a, a tick here in this case, moves my position 50 cents, my PL 50 cents, okay? Maybe I actually want to go short here because now we're getting some upper, slight upper rejection. Let's go short just for the example here. So I'm going to go to the trading panel. There's also the DOM, the depth of market. It acts just like the price ladder. We've got a video on the channel, I think, talking about this. It's very similar to a price ladder. You can pretty much put in the price point you want to buy and exit your positions very, very easily. You can change the units to one, to five, to four, which is how many contracts you're going to buy. I'm going to use the trading panel right here. I just think it's easier in my case. And uh, let's go ahead with that. So let's say I want to sell. Okay, I want to go short. Now, I have the option to enter my price. I can go market stop and a stop limit. I'm going to go market. I'm going to put a take profit and a stop loss. I'm going to select those two. Now I can change these numbers. I can put my price or my dollar amount of gain or loss that I'm willing to take. I can put a price point for the specific exit point. I can put a number of ticks, 25. Many, many times I'll look at like, let's say a 50 tick uh, take profit and a 25 tick stop loss. Just depends upon, you know, what you're trading, but sometimes I'll just look for a two to one. Maybe it's a hundred versus 50. Sometimes on shorter term scalps, it could be 50, 25. I like to always kind of generally put that in then I can adjust my orders from there. So this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go click on sell. Okay. I am now in, I just entered a market sell. I am now in, I am looking, or I'm going to profit if we head down. Now, if we don't head down, I'm going to put my stop loss as I adjust. I'm going to adjust my stop loss to right above that top of that candle right there. Okay. That would invalidate my thesis and it might be invalidated here, but you can see as we are now in this trade, it's now actively telling me my P and L we have our stop here and we have our limit there again, stop here in this case, cause I went short would be a buy stop and my take profit would be a buy limit. The exact same thing on the other side. Now you can do the same thing with limit orders. Okay. So if I wanted to specify a specific price that I wanted to get filled at, I can go do the exact same thing with a limit order. And then I can enter my take profit and stop loss. If I want to, I don't have to. And then stop orders. If I want to get filled on a breakout, for example, if I want to go long, if we break above this high right here, this 1398.25 that we've got, I could put a stop limit order, a buy stop order at that price. And then I can set my take profit and stop loss and walk away, go to bed, do whatever I want to do. And if it gets there, the trade becomes valid. It'll enter your position. And then if you wake up the next day, you know, eight hours later or whatever the time is, six hours later, 
and it hasn't hit your profit target or your your take or your stop loss, you'll still be in and you can adjust your orders from there. So something that you have the option to do. Now, again, this can move quite quick. So just be careful of that. Understand that. Um, I want to point out that you are looking at right now, essentially, right? We don't look like we're down that much. Like we're barely away off of where I, you know, entered my order here where I got filled. But if I get rid of this to bring this larger and I start to zoom out for what happened today, go to auto adjust. Notice what happened today. Look at some of these moves. These are very large moves. So with just one contract, we're talking about one to two, maybe even $300 move from here to here, if you were to short the top and then, you know, cover the bottom. Exactly. I'm not exactly sure, but we're talking pretty big moves. So there is still a decent amount of leverage that you have by trading the futures here, by trading the micro E mini NASDAQs. And again, there's a lot of power here when you start sizing up. And so this could be a great a great place to trade, a great resource for you. If you're someone just getting your feet wet with futures and you're someone that wants to start practicing without having to risk hundreds or even thousands of dollars on, you know, losing trades or having, you know, a strategy that might, you're trying to test out and you're like, Hey, I want to test it out on futures. I want to test it out without having to risk a ton of money. This could be a great place for you. Any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks to Jigsaw Trading for sponsoring today's video. Their links will be in the video description box down below. We hope this video helped and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.